Connecticut can only really sit back and watch on TV what's happening there. It's been very hard for many people, especially those who can't reach loved ones on the islands. Yeah, just devastating to see. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is joining us live in the Brass City tonight. And Dennis, Puerto Ricans are still reeling from when Maria hit five years ago. Yes, Aaron, today actually marks the five year anniversary of Maria making landfall in Puerto Rico. So all of this is really triggering to see so soon after Maria's destructive path. Now, um, as painful as it all is, some are being quick to act, wanting to help as quick as possible. More than 1,600 miles away, Pedro Ocasio has been watching Hurricane Fiona destroy his home. It took days for him to get a hold of family there. Finally, this morning, we were able to get through. They, I guess everybody was trying to call at the same time. Ocasio's family has owned La Bora and Kenya restaurant for the last 20 years, a Waterbury go-to for Puerto Rican cuisine. The worst thing about this, he says, is knowing the island still hasn't recovered from Hurricane Maria in 2017. It's, it's been in a, it's never, a lot of nervousness because, you know, you figure they just went through a storm. What is that, five years ago? Yeah. And believe it or not, there's people down there in Puerto Rico who still tarps on the roof. They still haven't picked up the pieces from the last storm. Now they got to deal with it over and over again. But in Waterbury, there's already efforts going on to help. Rafael Roman, the chair of the Puerto Rican Parade and Fest Committee, made some quick changes to their website this morning. And then here's the three organizations. Linking to three nonprofits that helped Puerto Rico when Maria hit, wanting to at least show where people could help donate money as plans for other donations are still in the works. We saw during Maria the last time as a community, a lot of our infrastructure wasn't there, both as far as support and help to the island immediately. And so this time we learned and we sprang into action right away. A lot of us, I have family in Guanica, which is in the southern part of the island that really got hit hard yesterday. As devastating as it all is, Ocasio knows his family, all of Puerto Rico, will make it out of this. The Puerto Rican community is a very united community. You know, we always pull through, we always help each other out. The Hispanic Coalition of Greater Waterbury is meeting tomorrow to start planning on how to best address the situation in Puerto Rico. You can find more information on them as well as the Puerto Rican Pride Parade Committee on the Channel 3 app. We're live in Waterbury. Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.